Hey babes, so I have <laughs> um, eight paper bag uh, journals that um, are not going to be in the shop because they are a custom order. Sorry, I had to move you. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to share um, maybe one or two of them with you. I'll do a flip through, but not of all of them because that'll take forever. Um, but I hope to have the ones that I did for my shop finished sometime next week. I'm going to try my best to take this weekend to kind of get myself together and kind of do something a little bit more relaxing, like my glue books. I really want to do it on Sunday, um, bring back glue book Sunday. Um, if I only get to do that <laughs> once a week, I'll be happy. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and check me out on Sunday. It takes a lot for me to edit that video. So it may not be uploaded until maybe Sunday night or Monday morning. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's get started. So this is for my customer. She didn't have um, a specific theme for the inside, but she had one for the pictures on the outside. So um, I'll share with you the ones. Um, yeah, I'll share with you the covers of each of, each one of them. Sorry, I'm doing this video again because I deleted the first one. <laughs> oh God, this is my life today. Anyway, so one of the the um, themes was B for the cover. So that's what I found. This cute little all these images I got from. Pixby, I believe. Um, so yeah, so I got this cute. I won't say cute because it's not really cute, <laughs> but not to me anyway. But it's a nice little flower. I'm allergic to bees, so I'm not really fond of bees. So I just have this um, pink fabric in the background, and each one of them has um, a button with some um, crocheted lace. So that's the bee one. I'll skip this one for now. Um, then this one is cat, which is what she wanted. So this one purple. So I found this purple, um, well lavender-ish with some lavender flower and looks like lavender soap. And I just put some purple um, fabric around it with a purple. Um, button and some crocheted lace and all the pages on the inside aren't purple but I use a lot of purple papers in here <laughs> and then the next one was squirrel so I found this picture of a squirrel with some um, coffee dyed muslin around it and a green button with crocheted lace and then vintage was the other theme so I found these uh, vintage books with this teacup. I just love this image so much. I know it's a little dark. The lighting is not the best today. It's a little dreary today, but I'm not going to complain because it's not hot and humid. So coffee dyed muslin and a vintage button with some, I think I'm going to have to cut this or glue this down because it's kind of annoying me. Crocheted lace. And then the gypsy was her other one. I prefer not to say gypsy. I prefer to say bohemian because I've read that uh, the word gypsy is a slur, so I don't want to be offensive. So I put this, um, sewed this on a piece of uh, scrap that I had of the Indian quilt that I got from Selena from Amont Fabrics. And then instead of a button, I just put this little fun beaded trim at the bottom and then the other one was dog and there's a little cute little doggy in a cup he's so cute you can tell I love dogs I love dogs and then this one was um random she said the last one could be random so I picked this bird one and I just backed it with some blue um fabric and a blue button and I'm going to actually show you no, not that one because I don't have all the journal cards and stuff in all of them. Let's go with this one. I'll go with this one. And I think I put cards in this one, I think. Um, so let's go with these two. So this is the vintage one. Okay, let me move this out the way. 
All right, so I'm just going to flip. I didn't do a ton of decorating. Made a little tuck spot with a time card and just kind of layered some stuff on there. Did some stamping, some craft paper and vintage paper. It's a little pocket. I didn't put anything in the pocket. A little sticker. Music sheet that I um, printed on. Some butterflies. Coffee dyed grid paper and coffee dyed paper. Little vintage sticker here. A page from my garden book. Little tuck spot with some tags. Stamp. You'll see that stamp in every last journal. Little vintage key sticker. This is, um, I didn't put anything in there, but it's a little tuck spot I made from a coffee dyed Rolodex card. I just layered some lace and um, I don't know if that will fit in there, but it's a tuck spot with something small. And then this I didn't make, someone else made it, but it's so pretty. It's layered up. Little tag right there. So I just glued it on there and made it the tuck spot. It didn't need anything else. The colors were perfect, so why not use it? Some coffee dyed paper stamp. Let's see. Vintage and ledger paper, another little stamp. This is a tuck spot. Of course, I don't have anything in there. Little um, vintage foam. This is a double belly band here and here. I have to put something in here. I thought I put everything in here, but I didn't. And this is a postcard from the Bestie. I just added Tsunami Rose's um, clip art, and it is a tuck spot. And then inside is a journal card. So I have to finish putting everything in here and then wrap everything up with a ribbon or sari silk or whatever I'm going to wrap everything up with. And so I'll show you the B1. And inside a pocket, I have a, another B image. And then I covered it with the paper. And this paper I don't think I showed in the video on um, IG. It's a different paper. It was already pretty much cut, so it was just easier <laughs> to use it. There's that stamp again. There's no coffee dye paper in this one. Little tuck spot. Just some vintage and ledger paper. Little bees, one there, some stamping, little tuck spot here. This was already done. I guess I was going to use it on something, but I never did. So I just glued it in here. Made it a tuck spot. Little sticker right there. I need to put something here. It's too much white. It's the middle of the signature. Well, again, that one's too much white, too. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I know I got to get that done. <laughs> little tuck spot right here. A little sticker. Some journal cards in this pocket. Fabric ruffle. And writing paper. A little banner tuck. And of course, each one I have to make a goodie bag and, you know, so they can do their own little decorating. Here's the little tuck spot in the back with another B image. And then a little lace right here on a little tuck. I don't think I put anything in, no, nothing in that one. All right, so that is it. I'm not going to go through any of the other ones. Um... I think you pretty much got the idea. I'm going to try to have 
Um, like I said, Vine's in the shop next week. And I hope my customer likes them. I sent her a picture. So she seemed to have liked them. And I hope the receiver of these enjoy them as well. I'm going to get all the tags and things in there. Get them all wrapped up with ribbon and ship them off. Um, probably Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. So probably Tuesday. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'm hoping to get my Christmas journals done, started rather. <laughs> um, since I have um, my design team project, I picked uh, Christmas kits. So I want to get those started. But that is for another day. So have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.